Yep. The starting point uh, of the project begins with the fact that sick children face isolation and get no access to mainstream schools. We believe that ICT can be a stimulus to break through uh, this social isolation and contribute to combat school retardation and to the overall educational process of the ill uh, child. The Leo project, if you uh, want to know more about the project, please visit the website of the Leo project. Um, uh, you can find the link here. Um, you can discover other Leo pro uh, products or join the Leo network. At this webinar, uh, in this webinar, we focus uh, on one of the product products of the project, the ebook "Teaching Children with uh, Medical Needs," um, and and uh, especially the combination uh, with uh, the toolkit. We want to show that the ebook doesn't stand on its own, but has to be seen in combination with other Leo product. Uh, uh, Leo products such, uh, such as the toolkit. Um, the name of the ebook is Teaching Children with Medical Needs Home and uh, Hospital Education A Guide to International Innovative Practices. The guide, uh, you can find the guide on the Leo website uh, with this link, uh, and it's uh, especially for um, the guide's benefit, beneficial for both teachers with experience and teachers with no experience with long-term um, ill students. The aims of the guide, um, after, working with, uh, after working through the guide, you should have obtained a better understanding of the complexity of education for children with a medical condition. Um, beside that, you will have gained new insights that may lead you to improve the quality of your work and or additional tools that support your practice, practices in HHE. And you will have um, fostered stimulating relationships with colleagues in the school your pupils attend. Uh, how to use um, uh, the guides? The guide is best used with groups of teachers. Uh, the results will be more uh, satisfying when exchanging experience, experiences and findings that are the results of working with the guide. Um, beside that, the guide is still um, very useful uh, and can be used as a re reflection and study book for personal use. To help the reflection and the discussion, green boxes such, such as uh, these um, boxes um, uh, are filled with suggestions and questions to help organize and interpret the in information. The publication has the intention uh, being a guide for teachers who are confronted with a long with a long-term ill student. To do that, um, the guide must give somewhat background information. Besides that, we include a comparison between children with, with and without medical needs and the key educational factors for the uh, education uh, of children with medical needs. Um, in the section about uh, information for a teacher of a learner with a medical condition, we summarize suggestions made by participants of the first focus group discuss discussions about the key educational factors. The suggestions are specifically aimed at teachers. The two last chapter, chapters deals, uh, deal with the use of ICT as a tool in education for children with a medical condition. We end the guide with um, conclusions of um, all the chapters um, uh, above. Now, we, uh, we focus in this webinar on the last chapter. Um, namely ICT with children, uh, for children with medical needs. Uh, it makes the link with uh, the toolkit of the Leo project. Um, you can find the link uh, here in this um, slide. Uh, it can be easily found um, at the Leo website. The toolkit gathers ideas and experiences with specific uh, tools. The two main um, types, um, now we separated two types of tools. First of all, the instruct 
instructional mat materials and tools for teachers. Um, and beside that, um, also materials and tools for learners. Now, uh, there are websites containing theory-oriented uh, information that are regularly uh, updated with recent developments in learning psychology, pedagogy, and um, um, didactics. An example is um, uh, Zizong, uh, our um, Dutch partners. Um, there are also websites with uh, examples of good practices, such as uh, Cosment. Uh, .be, a Flemish website for teachers where they can find and exchange educational materials. In the section Materials and Tools for Learners, you can find websites with online lessons and exercises, such as the German website with web based training um, with German grammar and vac um, vocabulary. Beside that, there, there is also ICT as a support for distance learning, electronic bags in the form of USB, USB sticks with audible uh, PowerPoints as an example. Um, recently, there is more attention outgoing to the use of robotics. If you need an example, please search for educational robo robotics in the toolkit. Also, uh, the web-based based training um, and the electronic bags uh, you can find in the toolkit. Problem with the slide because the website cton.nl uh, um, and classement.be uh, uh, are not in the toolkit. We can search it um, uh, with the link here inside uh, in the slide. Now, um, beside hospital schools and education by teachers at home, there is also real-time distance education, for example here in, um, in Flanders, um, where it is um, a right for a child. It enables a pupil with a medical condition to be um, vir uh, virtually present in their mainstream school classroom from, from uh, the hospital or home. Dedicated ICT environments and tools uh, makes it possible for a student to participate in the lessons. The child is thus enabled to keep up with the main subjects and allowed to maintain social contact with peers. Furthermore, ill, child, uh, Ill children uh, are distracted from uh, focusing to their uh, illness. Uh, Bennett is a Flemish non-profit organization which offers its service and uh, equipment free of charge to participating schools and to the ill students. The system has uh, two sets. Uh, you can see it here in the picture. Uh, one set for the students at home and one, in, um, and one in the hospital, uh, or in the hospital, and the other one in the classroom. Um, the set for the student contains a laptop with a uh, webcam and software of BadNets, um, um, a printer scanner, um, wait, little problem. Yeah, no. Um, also a printer scanner uh, when uh, there are exercise sheets that the students need to fill in. These sheets can be scanned and sent to the student who can fill in the forms and send them back with the printer. Uh, also, there will be a headset with microphones in uh, the material box. Um, the set for um, uh, the school contains a desktop with the uh, software of BadNet, a camera that is controlled by the student to the part um, of the classroom that is important for the lesson, a printer scanner, uh, speakers, and also a, wire a wireless microphone uh, for the teacher. Now, the software uh, of BadNet, uh, this is a, uh, a screenshot of it, um, uh, and it's from the perspective of the ill students. Here you can see, for example, uh, I tried to point it out for you, um, here you can find um, the uh, controls for the camera. There's also one help button right here uh, to get connected with the help desk when there is a technical problem. Um, and there's also here this button um, to draw the attention of the teacher and the class when the ill student 
has a question or note uh, or uh, wants to give the, an the answer to a question from the teacher. Um, there are also buttons here uh, and that's for use of the printer. Uh, these buttons uh, allow the ill student to send scanned documents to the class. Now, um, combining tools from the toolkit delivers more satisfying results. As an example, you combine real-time distance education, like BetNet, with social media and uh, Panda in my, uh, in my seat. Uh, social media, we know it like uh, Facebook, Amazon, Skype, and, uh, and WhatsApp. Um, uh, social media and BetNet. Um, social media can be used as an extension of social contact after school. It's an extra stimulation for uh, gaining more uh, interaction. Um, for example, when you use uh, Facebook, you can you can create a forum um, to discuss um, homework, but also um, uh, the things of uh, school life. Um, with homework, I mean the old student can join the conversation because he followed the lessons earlier that day with BetNet's real-time environment. But BetNet can only be used when the classmates are in the classroom and the old students, the student at home uh, or in uh, the hospital. When there's no school, the students can discuss homework or a study, a study uh, topic with Facebook. Uh, the things of life on school, um, at school there's a lot of interaction and uh, relationship building, but that doesn't end after the school, um, school bell rang. Having a Facebook group of the classmates provides um, a sick child with the opportunity to keep up with the latest news in class. Um, you can also uh, combine Panda and my seat with um, uh, with BetNet. Uh, Panda and my seat is based on Monkey and my chair. It's uh, from the USA Cancer Charity. A teddy acts um, as a stand-in for the ill child in the classroom. In the context of BetNet, um, you can use we use actually the same idea but with a cat, the BetNet cat. Uh, it's used for preschools uh, and the uh, purpose is for more for gaining social and commitment more more that than um, uh, the, the school retardation um, fighting against school retardation um, yeah, I have also a picture of our uh, Bennett cat huh? um, and here you can see how it's used in the classroom um, the cat takes a place, has a place in the class. Uh, one of the classmates takes care with, of the cat while the kindergarten teacher does the activity. You can't see the equip equipment of BetNet. It's uh, of course behind the camera. Well. Um, we are at the end of uh, the webinar. Now there's uh, there's now room for questions. Uh, please use the chat to ask questions you might have. I uh, try to uh, answer it um, uh, in the chat. Um, this webinar has been recorded and is available to view from the Leo webinar page. Thanks for um, participating in this uh, webinar eh? and I hope you have a good day. If there are any uh, answers, please um, use the chat.